since I've done a video, I think since last March, but I'm back and um, today I'm going to have something a little different. Um, I have taken a break for a little while, so now I'm back and I've, I'm actually not couponing at the moment. Uh, so what I was thinking about doing is doing uh, videos maybe on Saturday or early morning Sundays uh, of uh, the different kind of deals at each of the drugstores. Um, I'll do Walgreens and CVS for sure, but I'm not sure if I'll do Rite Aid, but I might. I might do Rite Aid as well. Um, I may do some how-to coupon videos uh, from each store. I might do videos on that, so that's something to look forward to. Um, but today's video is a little different. It's about organization. The um, reason why I'm getting a little bit into organization right now is because I'm about to move. Um, so I need something to help me get a little organized whenever we get in our new place. Uh, so I've been doing some Googling. I've uh, been on Pinterest and stuff. And I came across something that I have never heard before. Um, if you hear noise in the background, the air conditioner's on, and the dishwasher's on, and my cat's eating really loud. <laughs> so that's the noise in the background, so I apologize about that, and I hope you can hear me pretty good. Uh, so yeah, today's video is going to be showing you my binder that I made. Um, I spent about two weeks on it, and I just got it finalized uh, yesterday. So um, most of the pages are blank, um, but it's called a home management binder. If you don't know what that is, it's basically a binder with all of your information in it and then some. It really could be tailored to whatever you need it to be. Um, basically, it's like control center for me, and that's what I'm making my binder as. Uh, it's going to be focused on everything that my family may need in there. And I'll show it to you here in just a second. Um, uh, some people call it a home binder or a fi family binder. Um, so, uh, you know, you may have heard it called something different, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera around, and I'm probably going to end up holding it myself so that I can get the whole uh, binder in there. Um, I'm going to try to make this under 25 minutes or so. I don't want to make it too, too long. Um, all of the papers that you'll see I have made myself and if you would like I can make them into PDFs and I can post links to them in the description below. Um, I might go ahead and just do that anyway just in case if you see um, uh, an insert in my binder that you would like to have and it would suit your needs you can print it off if you want to. Okay, so here is the cover of my binder. Um, I like the little saying. It says, quit slacking and make stuff happen. Okay, I'm a huge slacker. <laughs> so, seeing this every day, I hope will help me uh, stay motivated for uh, what I need to do every day. And on the side, I'll show you the side here. It just says home management binder. It's just a black binder. I, I bought everything for this uh, setup at Walmart. Fairly cheap. I think this binder cost me $7 and some change. This is the Avery Heavy Duty um, binder. It's a two inch binder and it's got the uh, convenient one you know, finger and it's still new so it needs a little breaking in. Uh, over here it's got two pockets that you can put whatever you need in. Uh, here I think I'm going to put a sticker that says um, take care of me ASAP or something. Uh, if I stick anything in here, it's something I need to take care of as soon as I can. Here um, in this pocket I have the outline that I used for my binder. Uh, with little uh, tips and stuff, little hints of what goes in each one. So I just kept that there to remind myself since I am very new to this binder concept. Now some things in this binder I have tried by themselves, but I have never tried to put everything together in a binder. I never thought about doing that ever. But um, in the front I have a clear zippered uh, pocket that holds some dry erase markers and some now the reason I have dry erase markers is um, 
every one of these papers are in a protective sleeve and I can take the uh, dry erase marker and write on it and then when I'm done with it I can wipe it off and use it another day. That way it saves me from having to print out a page every day. It saves on paper and it saves me uh, with ink as well. Uh, printer ink that is. Um, and I'm also thinking about putting some post-its in here and maybe a small cal calculator in here as well. Uh, so uh, I gotta get that stuff together. This is not finished by the way. I still gotta add some stuff uh, like personal stuff in it uh, but the sheets that I made is all finished and like I said I did make these uh, sheets here all by myself I'm so proud and I wanted it to be very col colorful so uh, I did tailor this to my needs though um, so maybe not all of these sheets would uh, be suitable for you but I hope that you can get some ideas at least from it uh, here is my daily to-do list, or you can call it a daily docket, but daily docket just sounds a little too fancy for me. Uh, so this is my daily to-do list, and um, I'll give a close-up for you here. Here, see, it's Monday, June the 2nd. That is today's date. And here I got um, little reminders for me. I have a to-do list, dinner menu, goals, make a YouTube video for on my binder, check. All right, appointments, call list, and notes. And this is just a monthly calendar. Uh, and this is just a year calendar um, of 2014 here. And sometimes you wanna skip ahead a few months to see what day of the week a certain date is. Uh, that's mainly why I have this in here. And this is my master to-do list. And um, things that can go on here be like any kind of projects that you have that you want to do by a certain date. Uh, what I'm thinking about doing on this one is making a follow-up video for this binder. Since I have not used this binder before, I, I'm thinking uh, sometime in December I will do a follow-up video to see how this binder is working for me. So I can write, uh, let's say, December the 1st, a uh, follow-up video on binder, um, and then target date by the end of December or something like that. And then I can check it off if I ever do it. So you guys, if December comes around and I have not done a follow-up video, then you'll know for sure that the binder did not work for me. Okay, so my first tab is contacts. Um, and the first page of it is emergency contact numbers. This is mainly for my kids. If something were to happen to me that they need to call 911, they have information here that I'm going to be filling out uh, sometime soon. I'll have my phone number, my address, where, what's near the house, uh, what my house looks like, so they can be sure to tell the 911 dispatcher about exactly where they are. Um, I know my kids are 11 and 12 and they do remember some things, but when you're in a crisis situation, sometimes your mind goes blank and I just want this sheet here for them just in case. Um, and here I have like emergency numbers, uh, any family medical conditions or prescriptions that any of us are on will be here. That way if um, maybe someone is at the house watching my kids, they can use this sheet as well. Um, here is some other important numbers here. And any other notes, maybe I can go into detail about who takes what and why and stuff, just in case. And this is important numbers here, medical numbers, school numbers, utility numbers. And as you can see, I don't have very many utilities right now. So I, I, I left some open for me. Uh, and this is other numbers down through here. And an address book. This holds four um, people's uh, phone numbers and addresses. And one cool thing that I had come across on Pinterest was someone mentioned about children. Listen to the children that are in the family. That way, I thought this was kind of neat. So if my uh, son or daughter has a friend, they can and th but they don't remember their parents' names. They can go here and say, oh, well, that's my friend so-and-so. Okay, here's her number. The second tab is home. And this is just a weekly 
cleaning schedule. I have Monday through Sunday here. And so I could not find a cleaning schedule that had both weekly and a monthly all together in one page. So I made this um, with the little monthly tab here because you can put clean your oven, clean your bed covers and your pillows. Uh, maybe you want to organize your pantry every month or so. So you can put stuff like that on monthly. That way you can check them off as you do them. And sometimes you just have to do things seasonally, uh, like uh, weeding your garden. Maybe you want to do that in the summer and spring. Um, maybe you uh, want to clean out your garage on a certain time of the year or something. So I have uh, spring and summer here and fall and winter here. So I don't know if I'll use this or not, but we'll see. <laughs> All right, now I know for sure I'll be using this. This is accounts and passwords cause we, uh, especially my kids, they forget um, what their username and passwords are. Just I probably won't put my bank account or nothing here. Just things like, you know, I, I have a Panera username and password and I also have a Barnes and Noble username and password. Things like that that you don't access all the time will go here. And this is a pantry inventory list, and I'm gonna get close up on this. So you put the item here, where the item is located, you know, which cabinet or whatever room it's in, the current number you have, and the desired number you want to have, and in my case, I like to know how I packaged it, whether it's in Mylar bags or um, if I canned it or something, it goes here or if it's in, in its original packaging or whatever. I put it under packing here and then the shelf life, how long is it going to last in my pantry? Um, I did find a pantry inventory list, but it didn't go in that detail. Um, so I put that in there for me. I also have a freezer inventory and also a first aid inventory. Now I could not find nothing to keep up with first aid stuff and if you have subscribed to me on my channel you know I have an extensive medical kit. <laughs> uh, medical supplies I should say. It's not really a kit, it's just supplies. Um, I like to keep track of what I have, how much band-aids I got, how much gauze, how much tape, how much of this and that. So I like to have an inventory of that as well. That way if I run out of alcohol pads, I know to get them. Uh, and there's certain magazines that I've been buying here lately. Um, I have been doing a lot of research about gardening. Um, I just started a garden this year for the very first time. And it's going well, by the way. Uh, surprisingly, uh, cause I used to kill every houseplant I had. I could not keep real houseplants. I would kill them all and not mean to. Uh, so, I don't really have much of a green thumb. Um, so, you know, I'm trying this out for the first time. I actually got a garden binder. So, if y'all want to see that binder, um, just uh, let me know down below in the comment section and maybe I'll do a video on it. Uh, maybe next week. I don't know. It's kind of cool uh, since I'm new to gardening. Um, but I've been reading some magazines about homesteading and gardening and some of them I want to subscribe to and um, so here is you would put the title the account number and the expiration date that way you'll know when to resubscribe to your um, magazines and also a wish list I'll have that full by the end of the day and this is really cool this is a DVD inventory list I have it alphabetically um, some some are together, uh, but yeah, we have a lot of DVDs. <laughs> this would get filled up pretty quickly. And the neat thing is, uh, if you loan your DVDs out, you can put the title and who you loaned it to. Or if you borrowed a DVD, you can put on there um, who you got it from and put the title. That way you can remember to uh, return it. And also a wish list here. You can put some DVDs that are coming out soon that you want to buy. And the same thing with the book inventory. The third tab is food. And this is a seven day meal planner. Now, I am used to planning my meals out for a week. I'll sit down and see what meals we're gonna be having for the week, but I've never set it for days of the week. Like Monday, we're gonna have this, and Tuesday, we're gonna have that, and you know, so forth. Um, so this 
I'm kind of excited about. Here I have a grocery list, but what I'm thinking about doing is putting some Velcro on here and attaching a grocery list that you can buy at the dollar store or whatever. You know, the tear kind that's already set for you. It's got the lines on there for you and everything. And just Velcroing it on here. And that way, when I make my meal plan for the week, because I plan on reusing this. I don't, I don't want to have to print one off every week. I'm going to reuse this. And um, instead of writing it here and then rewriting my list onto paper to, so I can take it to the store with me, I think I'm just going to somehow put a grocery list here. I think Post-it has some sort of sticky note thing of grocery list. I might look into that. And of course, a dessert spot. And here, I like this. Now, I've already done this uh, with notebook paper. I've got a little notebook that I have, like recipes. But I do have cookbooks here at the house. And this, I can write the title of the recipe, where, which cookbook uh, it's in, what page number, and any comments about the recipe. So I can list them all here together. And this is just some recipe cards that I made. Real simple. And it's front and back. Okay, so what number are we on? Four. The fourth um, tab is my son's tab. Um, his name is Ethan. And this is his section. Um, this is like his daily to-do, but although some of this ain't going to be daily. It's uh, a couple of these are daily. The others will be more like uh, weekly or monthly. So I may change the title of that. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, but I'll write his chores that he needs to do for the day and I'll write any homework that's recurring homework like he has to read for 30 minutes every day he has to study spelling you know things like that will go here and any kind of extra stuff that he has in his agenda I'll write here as well and any upcoming school events like school dances or clubs after school or something will go here any field trips that's coming up will go here. Any school projects here, remembers. And at the beginning of the week, I think I'm going to have him write goals down for the week and then ha have him think about how his week went. So at the end of the week, I'll have him write maybe a sentence or two how his day went or how his week went. Like, oh, my week was great. I did, I, I aced my spelling test. Or my week sucked. My teacher was mean. Whatever. You know, whatever he feels like putting in there and then his personal to-do list what he likes to accomplish at home maybe uh, my, my son's big into Minecraft so maybe he needs something to do on Minecraft I don't know I told him it didn't have, it did not have to be school related that this was his page and he is alone all right so this is going to be his chore chart or his responsibility chart and it's he'll he'll have daily chores here and weekly chores here and I'm going to initial every day making sure that he does them the way he's supposed to because uh, what if I, I see I, if I put um, put toys away and he checks it off saying he did but when I go and look his toys are scattered all over the floor well he ain't I'm not going to initial there okay so I haven't thought of an allowance yet for my kids. Uh, when I do figure that out, I'm going to place it in here, in here, so I can track it down. And also, any kind of report cards, progress reports, any school-related uh, information that's for my son will go in his uh, section as well. Any uh, art, like pictures he draws or whatever, they'll go in here as well. And I do want to point out the tabs that I have have pockets on each side. It's got a pocket here and a pocket here. Um, and uh, if you're using page protectors, which is these, you know, the clear page protectors here, they do add about a half an inch or so to the page. So make sure your tabs are going to be long enough so that they'll hang over uh, or hang past the page protectors. So I just... I, I wanted to mention that to you as well. Alright, so the next tab is my daughter's tab. And hers looks, uh, and hers is the same layout. It just looks more girly. Um, so this is her page. And the same thing, school stuff, school related stuff with her will go in here. Alright, the fun tab here. It's the budgeting tab. 
All right, so this is more like a monthly budget for me because we have a system where we track our expenses daily. It's a, it's a clipboard method that's, that has worked for us for, oh gosh, um, more than a decade. It has last, you know, we have used that method for over a decade. So it's working for us and we want to keep it. But I want to track what bill gets paid when a little bit better than what we're using now so i have a monthly bill calendar and only bills will be recorded here and also any paydays will get recorded here as well and uh this here is uh, i'm very excited about because with the daily tracker you really cannot you really don't know what you're spending your money on on a day-to-day -day basis so at the end of each month, I want to figure out exactly where our money's going. Uh, and I'll just go over the categories real briefly. Uh, category here, uh, what you budgeted, your actual amount, the difference, and any notes. Maybe you need to add more to the budget or something. Um, or you need to increase your budget for a certain area or you need to decrease it or something like that. So the categories I have are income. You gotta record your income, see how much money you're making, and each section is gonna have a total of each section. So your home expenses, um, and I have uh, blank sections here um, for you know if you need to add anything else. Uh, utilities, and as you can see, I really don't have that very many utilities, so. Uh, food expenses like groceries and eating out. You have entertainment expenses, auto expenses, personal expenses, school expenses, uh, medical expenses, and savings. And here I just put like savings account, kids college fund, vacation fund, you know. That's something I'm very hopeful. I haven't been on vacation in over uh, I don't know, about 15 years. Um, so it's been a very, very long time. So this is wishful thinking for me to have a, voc a vacation fund. That would be awesome. And then in my case, a prepping fund or a coupon fund, you know, that'd be kind of tied into to my prepping fund, my coupon fund, uh, things I want to stockpile, things that uh, I need more of, things like that, that, that will go there. And at the end, I'll put what my monthly income was, what my actual expense was, and what the difference, um, like how much is left over for like savings or whatever. And this is just like a reoccurring expenses um, uh, thing here. I have a spot for yearly expenses, quarterly. Um, it could be every other month or it could be every three months now like my insurance is paid every three months so i would actually just put it here and put in parentheses three months or whatever and then monthly expenses that would be your utilities and rent and all that stuff there and right here so you, um you put what your expenses are like every month i put netflix and then my amount and then the date it's due and uh just check off every month that I pay it. Now for the, like the insurance that's every three months, what I would do is put the amount when it's due and I would probably circle the months that, that it would be due, just kind of remind myself and then when I pay it, I'll check it off within the circle. That, that's my plan for that anyway. So I'm very excited about tracking my money uh, for, the, for a whole month just to see you know what we spend what on. Okay, the next tab is personal, and basically this is my personal tab. This will be for me to keep me motivated, to uh, help me um, with my exercising and stuff like that. This is my personal uh, section here. And here's my personal goals for home, family, finances, uh, health and fitness, skills to learn, there's lots of skills I'd like to learn, like sewing. I really want to learn how to sew. Um, so that I'd put that there. Be my goal to learn how to sew by the end of the year or something. And then books to read. I love reading. I read all the time. Uh, matter of fact, I did a lot of reading on my little break from YouTube. I, I, I did a lot of research, a lot of reading. And then other here, uh, maybe YouTube video ideas or uh, maybe if one day 
I'll start a blog, who knows, whatever. I'll put that there. And here are some long-term goals where I see myself in 10 years, five years, one year. Now I've been working out recently. Um, I work out off and on <laughs> throughout the year, so I'm trying to keep with it. And I'm hoping that if I set goals for myself, I might stay motivated to continue to work out. Um, I'm trying to gain muscle. So uh, it's really, really hard for me because you have to eat a lot of like protein and stuff. And I'm not real big on, I mean, I love my meat, don't get me wrong, I love my meat, but I'm just not real big on eating a lot of it. So I had to work on that. Um, what's my vision for the year, things like that. And this is like a workout tracker. Um, I have this by week. I'll get a close up here. Um, you see there's Monday through Sunday. So I'll just check the days of the week that I had actually worked out for this week. And I, it's like a full year. There's 52 weeks on this. So I, I've already got a workout. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I got a workout um, workbook or a notebook, I should say, that I track exactly what I do, how many reps I do, how many um, sets I've done, uh, how much weight I lifted. Because I, I lift free weights because I'm trying to gain uh, muscle here. So I, I use free weights. Um, so I've already tracked my workout like that. So I don't need to actually redo it here since I've already got it already set up in a notebook. And then um, I wanted to track to see what my results are at the end of every month. So here I'll put June's workout results and at the end of June I'll put my weight. So my goal right now is to be, I really would like to see 135 or so, but I wanted to, to do it with muscle. And you know, muscle weighs more than fat. Um, I'll track my weight, see if I'm gaining any, and then I'll take my measurements because you know, I, kinda, I don't want a six pack all the time or anything. I, I do want to look toned though, so I'm gonna take my measurements. And how I feel about that month's progress, I'll write there. So um, anything else personal, I will go in here. I do sometimes, get um I, i'll get creative sometimes and want to do things so any kind of uh crafting idea i have will go in this uh, creative tab here any kind of ideas um maybe even with youtube or whatever will go in here uh any like i'm trying to learn how to sew so maybe i'll put some tips and tricks of learning how to sew in here as well but this section is empty but that's what this section is for for creative purposes and my last section is occasions like special occasions and I have birthdays and anniversaries so I can record everybody's birthday and anniversaries and stuff and the closing clothing size you know how family and friends will call you and ask you every year what size clothes your kids wear so they can get them something for Christmas well, uh, I went at, uh, you know, kids grow a lot and it's hard to keep up with what sizes they're wearing, especially shoe size. Shoe size is very difficult to keep up with with kids, especially boys. Uh, it seems like they always skip shoe size every year for some reason. Um, but yeah, I'm, I have one for my son here and it's uh, their sizes, their favorite colors, their favorite brands and other notes. And I got one for my daughter. Now, um, Favorite colors and brand is very important, especially with a little girl. Um, she's very particular in her clothes and the other notes. I know exactly what I'm gonna put down here for my daughter. She loves everything to have glitter on it and neon colors. That's her thing this year, glitter and neon colors. So I, I have to write that on there because that's what she likes now. All right, so with the seasons in mind, I got a shopping Christmas shopping list here for who, what to get, where to get it, what's the price, have you purchased it yet, and have you gift wrapped it yet. So that, that will be handy. And I actually have two printouts on this. I have two of them, one for my son, one for my daughter. And this is just a Christmas wish list. You can uh, photocopy this and send it to friends and family too as well. Uh, I'm going to have them put their favorite colors, candy, food, drink, hobby, their favorite TV show, their favorite song, their movie, favorite school subject. Because my daughter's favorite subject 
so far that I know of is science. So, you know, you can find some little science-y type, uh, you know, gift or something that she would like. Uh, favorite thing to do at Christmas time? Item I want most. Something I really need. Uh, things I would like to have. So they'll have a long list of things that they would like to have here. And that's it. Um, I just, this is the last thing in my binder. And again, it has two more pockets. And it's the Avery brand, the heavy duty binder. So this is it uh, for my binder. I hope you have gotten some ideas from it. And I hope I can keep up with this. I think it will keep me and my family organized um, with everything that we plan on managing in our house. Um, hopefully it will keep me motivated to, to keep working out and eating healthy. Um, and maybe it will help me keep my house a little bit cleaner and stuff. And um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, like I said, I will do a follow-up video on this. Uh, sometime in December if I'm still using this uh, like I said if you don't see that video that means the binder didn't work out for me but uh, I have used personal planners before um, especially with college it worked out great for a little while but I keep losing them so I don't know but here it is my binder all right everyone thanks for watching bye